Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek from your favorite land website www.thelandgeek.com and I am privileged, honored and uh, I didn't even have to bribe him this time to get Jeff Axton from Tammyland.com uh, back on the podcast. Jeff, how's it going this morning? Oh, great. Great, Mark. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Unlike you, uh, I'm real comfortable here because I think the high is going to be like 60. I see. I always want to haze Jeff, and he's like, "Can we talk about something else besides the weather?" But I just <laughs> love the fact that he's so cold. <laughs> yeah, we start. Yeah, exactly. Ski areas are open. I told you, Mark. So. I know. I know. <laughs> I you look. I I can still drive up an hour. No, no, two hours to Flagstaff. Yeah, and ski. And I know. So um, let me let me ask you. So uh, I know it's not related to land, but you're a real fit guy. Do you find it hard to wake up and work out in the morning? I yeah I don't do that. I used to. Oh, you used to. Oh, okay. So when do you work out now? I work out in the afternoons or, or in the evenings. Uh, I just it just fits me better. I I used to work out in the morning and and I just couldn't stay motivated. Uh, it was just wasn't. Uh, you know, once in a while I go for a run, but I don't. I just don't like doing it in the morning. So why do it? You know. So right. I do it in afternoons or uh, or in the evening. How how often do you do it during the week? I I, I like. I used to go to the gym all the time, and then I used to run, and I, and lately I've been doing um, P90X and uh, a few other ones, and I just started T25, which is uh, Sean T, and and that's a um, you just follow the schedule. It's 25 minutes a day, and uh, six out of seven days you work, I'm working out, so it's but it's quick. It's 25 minutes. That's crazy. We, I told you what I'm doing, right? The, I'm doing the seven minute workout. Seven minutes. Seven <laughs> minutes, and I'm done. I'm, it's it's quick. It's intense. I'll tell you what. I feel pretty good. Um, it's it, it's that you know I use it on my like the iPhone app. I've got like a little yoga mat, and uh, it's just quick. It's squats. It's uh, it's all compound exercise, but real real quick. So you do like a plank. You do squats. You do lunges. You do push ups, uh, sit ups, step ups, uh, that kind of stuff. Wow, seven minutes. That's in seven and in seven, and I'm sweat. and I'm sweating. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's great. So they say, like the the whole thing about it is, if you do it real intensely and you're sweating, it's as good as a forty five minute workout. I mean, it's not for like, you know, really athletic people that are doing. You know, you know, it's, it's for like average Joes. It's like the average Joe workout. Yeah. Um, wow. I, I thought twenty five was was uh, was low. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but yeah, but you feel good, right? Oh, I feel great. No, no, I I get just as much sweat out of a twenty-five minute as I did before because there's no breaks. There is no breaks at all. Right. I mean, right. Uh, you know, there's no time. There is a little stretching, but anyways. Yeah. So you know, but you know, the reason I bring it up, and what I'm the way I'm going to segue this is that, you know, working on the land business and working out, to me, are kind of the same thing, right? You know, one is for your physical well-being and one is for your financial well-being, right? Yeah. But the people that are successful financially and, and successful successful physically, they do the same things, right? They're, they're consistent. So you're working out six days a week. I'm working out five days a week. You're sending out offers every week. I'm sending out offers every week. We don't take a week off necessarily. The difference is, you know, in our business, someone else can be kind of doing, helping us do that work as opposed to working out, which is so hard. But, you know, there's always that force that's acting on us. You know, I think the word would be like entropy that I've heard before or, or resistance. Um, that little voice that's saying, you know, there's something better to do than what you're doing, right? We can always kind of rationalize not working out or uh, 
you know, it's just one donut. Uh, you know, uh, I've got something else to do besides make these offers. Right. So how do you stay motivated? Like how, how do you, cause you gotta have both. You know, you've got to have the knowledge how to do this business, number one, but then you also have to have that, that fire, that passion every day, that professionalism to show up and do it. Right. So what, what do you do? Well, I, I, I mean, some, the end, the end product for me is always in my mind. So I always, after I work out, I always, I think that's the best time I feel all day is after you work out. And um, I think with this, the land, the same thing, after you make a sale or a profit or you're successful at it, you feel good about yourself. So I think that just that in, in your inside makes you drive forward to do more, I think. Okay. But you don't, you're not one of those guys that has like, you know, the, uh, the quotes up all over their office. Oh, that's, uh, you know, that's the, the inspirational quotes to, you know, live for today or, uh, you know, I, I can't even think of them off the top of my head, but, uh, you know, you miss all the shots you don't take kind of thing. You don't have that around. I, well, I do. I have a, I have a folder of, of visions based things that I, I, once in a while I come across a magazine or something or something that I want to get someday. I do have a full, I don't have a post all over the place, but I have a folder. So once in a while, when I need a motivation, I'll pull that folder out and I'll just look at the stuff, you know, and it's just things that I either quotes or things that I cut out or I'll just throw it in that folder. I'll have it all year long. And then I just pull it out once in a while. Um, so yeah, I use that. And then I use that. Uh, I think I've said it before that simpleology.com, which is great. It's free and it's, um, it gets your life in order and, uh, it integrates goals in there too. So, uh, every day I see my goals. And, uh, so I'm looking at my short term, which is within a month. What am I going to do within a month? And I see every day how my progress is going. And then I my, my, uh, three month and my six month goal. So I do, I, I do look at it every day. And then, um, but yeah, and then of course, you know, everything in life keeps you motivated. I mean, you know, you want to send your kids to good schools. You want to, you know, the, the long, the overall picture, you know, uh, financially, I, I, that's the reason I do this business. Right. Right. And, and, uh, you're doing great. So share, share what happened this week, because I'm a little jealous of this sale. <laughs> well, I had a couple sales, a couple seller financing deals. Now those are great. You know, I had two of those, and then I had uh, I had a good sale this week. I a um, piece of land in Nevada. It's a, it was a forty acre, and I bought it for twenty five hundred, and then I uh, had it listed for fifteen thousand, which I was getting a little interest. I've had it listed for about two three weeks, and then someone offered me uh, eight thousand cash, and I said, okay, yeah, sure, I'll I'll take that as long as you you put a deposit on my website, and the deposit was there was there within an hour, and we're gonna be closing it up in a week, so. Nice Christmas present. That's a nice Christmas present. So I mean, that, that's that's a nice quick sale, and you used Craigslist. Yes, I I got that. I got I had that advertised on Craigslist, and um, you know, of course he he emailed me, and then I I uh, emailed him back. We talked for a little bit on the phone, and bang, it was it was uh, sold. It's, I wish it yeah. happened like that every day. <laughs> No, I mean, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. I had, uh, two sales this week. I sold two 40 acre parcels for cash. Oh, um, nice. and then I sold a five acre, uh, yesterday on terms actually to, um, like another one of my customers that already owns a five out in that same area and he just wanted more. Um, so, you know, this time of year, you know, December, it's typically slower, but you never know. I mean, you got to keep pushing. You got to stay out there. But what I usually around the last two weeks of December, I know things kind of slow down and I kind of slow down a bit and, and take those two weeks off. But I'm still marketing You know, I'm still doing something every day uh, as far as, you know, pushing the marketing because you just never know. Um, it's It can be a great Christmas gift or uh uh, for, for some people to give. And I, I'm definitely going to hit my list with a special promotion. How, how'd you go with your, how'd it go with your promotions? Uh, it's been going well. I, I, I usually get one or two people. Uh, I mean, currently I have four or 500 on my list, so it's growing. And, right. Uh, right. But um, I usually get one or two people interested and it usually turns out to be a sale. So, and I, I send out tips uh, every month 
on, on land. And uh, I also get a couple people usually respond to that as well. So that's that's kind of nice, you know, when you, when they say, hey, thanks for the tip, you know, or, or whatever, whatever. But um, yeah, so that that's working out good. I'm going to do a Christmas promotion as well. Uh, I'll do something for Christmas. And, and, and like you said, the December slowed down. But two weeks ago was the busiest week of my year. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, it was, I sold, I think I sold five or six pieces and um, I think three of them were seller financing, but, and then last week was pretty busy. And then the last couple of days have slowed down, but, but as for slowing down, it, it hasn't, you know, I, I, I was surprised. I figured same as you, I figured, oh, well, it'll slow down until the spring and, you know, pick it back up and. Right, right. But, you know, but if we do the math, I mean, it's really exciting when we do the math and we look at, you know, what you've done with your business. So if you can just do one, you know, cash sale a month, just one a month, part time, right? You're, and you make uh, $6,000 on that, just that one sale. I mean, that's $72,000 just in cash flips, right? And then right. you do a couple, you know, how many sales are you doing a month on terms? Yeah, I'm doing probably, I'm guessing about five or six, maybe more, maybe the, it's five to 10, somewhere in that range. Right. For, so, so how long before you're at, you know, 10,000 a month passive income? Right. It's yeah, not going to be long, right? No, no, it's, um, no, it's, it's every, every, every month it's getting bigger. Right, <laughs> right. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, think about that. Like that's an extra $16,000 a month that you're making actively and passively working part time. Right. You're full time fireman. Right. So, I mean, that's what that's why I love this business. That's why it's so exciting. It's so fun for me is that, you know, these things really happen. I'll tell you a story about uh, one of my coaching students I just met uh, at, for a, for an hour consultation. He he went big. Most people don't do this, but he went really big in one county in northern Arizona. He spent like a thousand dollars sending out, you know, 800 good offers. And all of a sudden he calls you. He's like, Mark, you're not going to believe this. He's like, I've got all these accepted offers. We did the math. And if, if we just looked at the comps, he's, he's got $150,000 in potential revenue right there in deal flow. Wow. $150,000. He's doing this part time. Yeah. I mean, it's a game changer for him. It's, it's incredible. So, um, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's really exciting. But, you know, what's interesting about it is that uh, he had to wake up. He had to do it just like, you know, you're doing it. And it took him a while. I mean, you know, he bought the course uh, several months ago. And so he finally, I don't know what happened, but he got it. He got it out. And he got it done. And he was real organized, beautiful Excel spreadsheet. Um Everything was laid out. It was, it was fantastic. I, I couldn't have been more proud. So, Bob, if you're listening to this, you know I'm proud of you. I'm very proud. So, it's, it's, it's great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. But what you were saying before about the, uh, like the vision board or the vision folder, I think that's really important as well to kind of have that, that fuel, that motivation, and those goals. And, and we've talked about goals before. But uh, when you sit, like, do you sit down with your wife and do you guys have like family goals, business goals? And then how, how do you structure that? Well, we, we, um, I, I followed Dave Ramsey about, geez, about five, six years ago, I think. I, and, uh, the, he's, I, he's, he's the financial guy, right? Right, right. And, uh, at the time I was just starting this land business and I was in a little bit of debt and, uh, you know, it just, I didn't have a financial advisor, so I was like, all right, I, I had to do something here. Something's not working. You know, we, we didn't have any money in the savings, all this stuff. And so I bought his stuff and, and uh, I just bought his book. It's 10 bucks or something. Right. And right. we just followed his, his uh, teachings, basically. You know, and um, we, we budget every month. We have, a, uh, we have a budget ahead of time. So we have a ballpark idea how much we're going to be coming in, how much going out. And then he talks about baby steps, getting out of debt, and then building your businesses and everything like that. But um, yeah, so so we uh, we use we use him, and then um, of course it usually goes way out of whack at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we try to 
you know, we look at the numbers and, you know, you don't want to spoil your kids, you know, but you, you know, you want to get them as much. It, it is like a fine line of how much you want to spend at Christmas time, you know? Right. Right. So, uh, so yeah, so we, we, we talk about that. My wife still works. So she, she has, um, you know, her goals at, at her work, you know, and, um, she knows I do this and she knows I love it, you know, so, uh, she's very supportive of it. Someday she's going to retire from there and help me with this. So. That's great. I can't get her away from it though. She loves her job. So it's like, all right, well, you know, what are you going to do? No, I you know. know. She's happy. I'm happy. Then we'll just keep it going. You know, I know I'm, I'm always hazing you about getting more virtual assistants to help you build. <laughs> yes. What, what, what's going on with that? Why aren't you, why aren't you doing that? Ah, you know what? It, it's, it's almost, you get in the, you get in this, um, I don't know if you call it a rut, I guess. I don't know. You get, you get in this, the habits, I guess, of it's my business is working and it's working and it's working and it's, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. And so I guess that's probably why it's probably procrastination. Uh, just, you get in the, like I said, you get in this mode. I have two virtual assistants now and they, and they do a lot of my stuff that I don't want to do. And then, um, yeah. I, and so, yeah, I don't know. I guess, yeah, I guess yeah. I guess that's one of my goals for 2014. Yeah, that's going to be your goal for 2014 because um, are, you, are you familiar with Seth Godin? He's he's like a marketing guy. Yes, E-Myth. Okay. Is that E-Myth? Yeah, well, no, that's Robert, that's Gerber. That's but, oh, um, Gerber. It's Gerber. He, he Seth Godin uh, wrote like Purple Cow and Lynchpin, and he's got like a lot of books. He started uh, several companies. He's he's a thing, you know. Um, so. I was listening to one of his podcasts and he'll have like these, you know, people spend, I don't know, 15, 20, $30,000 to spend a weekend with him. And then he'll record it. Um, you know, these entrepreneurs and he'll, he'll talk about, um, the entrepreneur's job is to break the business. It's, it's very counterintuitive. So when things are going well, that's great. Right. But then it's your job to break it. And make it better because things are constantly changing so you know if you're not feeling anxious every day a, a little anxious about your business about pushing it a little further or or you know trying something new or you know getting a new system in place then that should be a signal to you that uh, uh you know i'm getting complacent and as soon as you get complacent you, you know no bad things happen in business, right? Um, some someone else comes in and and starts competing, and all of a sudden you're like, "Whoa, what happened?" So, um, you know, I'm such a big you know believer in working on that business and looking at it and saying, "Okay, where can I improve it here? Where can I improve it there? How can I make it more efficient? How can I lower my overhead?" Um, or and how can I increase my margins? How can I add more value? And just doing it and just doing it a little bit every day. So that should be like a good signal to you, like, oh, things are going really well. I should be scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you have you heard that before? I don't know. You know, we, we have this conversation all the time. You but you bust my chops on that. <laughs> I, I definitely do. I definitely do. That so, will be one of my goals this year. How, how many VAs do you have right now? I have two. You have two. Okay. Are they local or are they overseas? Overseas. They're overseas. Okay. Yeah. So do you have any kind of like management system in place where they're accountable for doing this and this and they, they come back to you and say, this is what I did, Jeff? No, no. I, 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 I send them, I give them tasks and then they, when they're complete, they send them to me on email and then I give them another task. Oh, okay. What's uh so I don't have them report to a website or anything. I don't give them a, a daily schedule. I just, I do task by task. Okay. For instance, for instance, getting a, uh, getting a list from the county, breaking it down and putting it in an Excel form, something like little small things like that. I'll give them something to do and then they'll get it done for me. All right. That's great. I mean, I, I really think like you should just spend like an hour one day and just look at everything that you're doing. And make a list. What can I eliminate? Like, I don't even need to even be doing it all. What can I delegate? What can someone else be doing? And then what can I systematize? And yeah. I think it's really going to help you. Like, it's it's like it's almost going to be, you know, 
Like you're going to go from, I don't know what you're doing this year, but I, I bet you can double the business next year. Mm. Like that's, that's my goal for you next year. 2014 to double what you did in 2013 by, you know, by leverage. Yeah. I mean, just by leveraging other people and, yeah. and, and having them because you can only do so much, especially on a part-time basis. Oh yeah. No, it's limited. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of it is a lot of the bottleneck is probably going to be, you know, processing deal flow and, um, and having, you know, and creating a wholesale side of it. So, you know, if you only have so much money to invest in the land that you're flipping in, you know, if you, if if you're bringing in 20 deals a month and you don't have, let's say 20 grand a month to spend on land or whatever, then, you know, you can have a side business of just wholesaling out yeah, and and building from there. So I don't know. I think it's exciting, but you're doing great. (laughs) You're doing great. (laughs) That's, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, that, no, it, you know, it, and that's that's when that's the time when you really want to get even more motivated is when things are really well going really well so that you're 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 in that that mode of abundance and not not that fear mode. Oh, I got to do this and just kind of scrambling, you right. know, what's the, what's the old saying? No one buys from a hungry salesperson. That's right. So you're you're getting you're getting fat and happy. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's not a problem, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's the best problem to have. Right. So, um that's great. So, uh what else is going on? Oh, jeez. Uh Yeah, just just like I said, everything with this land business is uh is keeping me busy, so VA would help, another VA, you know. Right, right. And then how's uh how's your your brother doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I have um my brother and uh, one of the one of one of my friends. I'm teaching them the land business, and he's doing well. He's ready. He sold his piece. Um, it was funny. His wife says uh, to him, "Geez, you know, he bought a piece for eight hundred dollars, and he sold it for four hundred down in five years, fifty a month." And she says, "Geez, um, you know, Phil, you know, you, you bought something for eight hundred, you only get four hundred back. Uh, it doesn't make sense." <laughs> so <he thinks> <laughs> <laughs> so she's a little upset. You know, they're very, you know, they're looking at their budget and saying, you know, I, I, what, I don't understand this business you bought for, you know, Phil's explaining to her in, in, you know, in half a year or a year, you know, this will all be paid off. And then it's four years of free money, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so sometimes, you know, it's, it's a little bit hard to understand, but, you know, he knows where I'm coming from because he's all excited. He's like, yeah, Jeff, I want to have, you know, in the next few months, I want to have $500 coming in each month. And I said, Phil, it's easily, you can easily do that. Right. And, right. Uh, so, yeah. So he, he's loving it. He's ready to buy, he's ready to close on another one. Actually, Saturday, we're meeting, we meet once a month and uh, we discuss our strategies. It's nice. That's see, isn't that nice? Brothers, yeah. bo- brothers bonding over the land business. It is. It's, it's great. And uh, I, I give him, I don't do partners with him. I, I give him the piece of land. I let him go. It's so much better. Wait, what, what do you mean you give him the piece of land? Well, I mean, I don't get, he buys a piece of land. Wait a second. You're, you're doing the deal flow and he's just buying it from you. I am giving him two pieces of land. This is the second piece. I'm just, I'm helping him out, get it, getting started. So I All have, right. I have probably in this one area about 10 parcels and I'm going to have him buy one basically for what I paid for it. Okay. okay. That's very sweet. Yeah. Well, he's my brother, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Right. I know. I know. Well, <laughs> teach the man to fish. You feed him for a lifetime. That's the next step. That's the next step. I'm going to teach him how to do the mailings next. Why, why, why don't you have him get the investor's toolkit? Yes, I, I'll have him do that too. It, this know. is the beginning. For, he's, he doesn't even know if he wanted any part of this. And so we just started uh, three weeks ago and he bought a piece and he sold it. And then we're going to do one more. And then I'll start teaching him the business and giving him your investor's toolkit. And, uh, Teaching them the the mailings and you know get them going from there. Yeah, I want I want Phil on the gold mastermind. <laughs> I, I I could do that. You think he could do it? That'd be, it'd be that'd be really interesting. Oh, it'd be great. Yeah, he, but the only thing is he's so green. I mean he he took this piece of land, he put it on Facebook, and he sold it like like in a day or two. And so he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, thinks, he thinks he's going to sell land every day, every other day. <laughs> I don't know what it is, 
but he immediately just sold it to someone or not one of the guys he knew that knew that loved that land out there and he's like jeff i sold it i said you got to be kidding me so uh you know he he hasn't gone through the craigslist route he hasn't gone through land watch land hub any of that stuff and uh <laughs> yes <laughs> So yeah, he is yeah. really, really green. Yeah, that's great. I, you know, I've I've got a guy. He's in uh, Kentucky, and he's got like over a thousand Facebook uh, friends. And I've I've never seen that. Like, how do you have a thousand Facebook friends? Wow. That's... I mean, it was like mind boggling. And he was thinking about getting into this business, but you know, his his biggest thing was uh, he's been climbing out of debt. And so for him to actually invest in the course, he'd have to go into debt. And I was like, oh man, I don't want you to go into debt. And then I was talking to another one of my colleagues about it. And, uh, and she was like, absolutely not. Have him, tell him to go into debt for education. You know, he should definitely do it because that's what you do. You know, it's good debt. There's good debt and there's bad debt. If he's going in, in debt for a, a big screen TV, then yeah, that's not so so smart. But if he's going to do it for education, it's going to you know give him a huge return on his investment. She's like, I I would tell him to do it. I, I'm like, oh, that. What do you, what do you think about that? I know. Well, that's my my other friend that's doing this business. He's he's uh, he has a lot of bills, you know. And and uh, same thing. He's like, the only thing that bothers me. He's he's like, okay, I'm I'm going to sell this piece of land and. And the profit I'm going to use is to pay my oil bill and, and this and that. And then uh, it's just so much better when you're, all your bills are paid and you do this business or, or at least you're breaking even or something close to that where you can, when there's no stress. I don't have any stress with this business. You know, I don't, right. it's just extra. And that, and that feeling is so much better. And, and I think, you know, people, when they're buying a piece of land from you, they'll probably sense that feeling too. You know, I, I hope you buy my land. You know, but if you don't, that's okay. I'll just go find someone else. You know, that's kind of the attitude I have with it. Right, right, yeah. I mean, you know, when I started, I was, I was dirt broke. I mean, I had three thousand dollars in my name, and <laughs> I put it all on black to buy land. Oh. My wife was not happy, to yeah. say the least. So I kind of started out a little bit more desperate. Um, you know, but you know, I say that, you know, but I was still living month to month. I mean, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't putting anything away. But I also uh, wasn't deep in debt, so I, I might have not had that same type of, I don't know, fear. I sure. guess that you, you could have if you know you if you don't get that sale, it's really bad. Like you know, because I I made the argument to my wife like, look, if I can't sell this land, at least we own land. It's an asset, right? right? So what's you know what's the problem here? You know, one day you'll be glad I bought this, but. Um, but obviously we did sell it and and here we are today podcasting right. um but yeah i mean i don't know i go back and forth on it i, I think that you, you've got you've got to get out of outside your comfort zone at some point don't you think and, yeah and take a chance and just do your homework make sure that it's you know i mean obviously don't be impulsive about it don't do it out of desperation but do it out of excitement and out of a sense of, you know, here's a, here's a solution to a problem, and if I just take action, I'm I'm going to be better today. I'm going to be better tomorrow than I am today. I mean, because you've got to do something, right? I, I don't know. You can't. It's better than working a second job, don't you think? Yeah, and it's um, and it's your your way way out if you don't like your job now. You know, if you could just say, you know what, if I if I bring in so much money a month. You know, I could probably leave my job. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, yeah. It took me eighteen months, but I did it. And I haven't worked for somebody since, and yeah. that's yeah. It's yeah. It's been great. It's been great. So we're at that point where we've got to talk about the tip of the week. And I know I'm putting you on the spot, as I always love to do. But Jeff, what's your tip of the week? All right. I I thought of this because I knew you'd ask me, and. uh uh, benverified.com, B-E-N-V-E-R-I-F-I-E-D.com. Ben, ben, yeah, benverified.com. Yeah. Like, you've yeah. been verified. Yeah. They're, it's a great resource for um, contacting people, whether you get mail returned and you want to – it's not it's – not, 
as good. It's better than white pages. It's not a skip tracing service or anything, but it will give you a percentage of uh, good addresses if you're looking for a bad address and their phone number. So I know when I start just started this, I was hungry for for deals, and I would just call people directly and just say, "Hey, I know you have a piece of land out in Colorado. Would you you want, you want to sell it?" And uh, and I'd get a couple deals that way. So uh, when I'm looking for somebody, I use BenVerified.com. It's it's not too expensive. I, they might have a free trial. I'm not sure, but uh, I do use them once in a while. That's great. That's great. And. Um... I, I use, this is gonna be my tip of the week. I use a different site, but it's it's, it's similar. Um, I think Ben Verify I, might be better. I think it's less, exp well, how much is it a, a year? I, I don't know what the last, how many, I, it was it was cheap, it was under a hundred dollars. I know that it was, it was 50 or 60 bucks for the year and, and it provided pretty good phone numbers, so. All right, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice looking site. I use Spokio.com, S-P-O-K-E-O.com. And, you know, there'll be, you know, like for my letter writing campaigns, if I need a better address, I'll have, uh, you know, we'll send out uh, to them, um, especially if, you know, if it's, if I get maybe, if I'm sending out a hundred, I might get 10 back, right? Um, I'll look at that list of who uh, came back. And if they own multiple properties, then I'll spend the extra money and, and send them a new offer. And and hopefully get the right address. But do you ever go to Facebook and try to find them? I have. I've tried. I haven't been successful with it. But I've uh, I've I've had the owner and I've emailed them and they never got emailed me back. I've done it two or three times. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I haven't been successful with it. Have you? Yeah. For for a couple of things, yeah. But it's it's a little creepy. Yeah. I mean, I forget. I don't know who was telling us it's like a it's like you go into a party you know and in it's a social gathering and yeah exactly. and you start talking business and asking them questions they think who are you you know right right i'm hearing some reverb reverb here so i i apologize for this but anyways jeff do you want to sign off because i'm hearing reverb on my end okay uh, thanks a lot mark we'll see you later so I had some reverb there at the end with Jeff. Uh, I do want to thank Jeff from Tamiland.com and uh, appreciate his time for being on the podcast this morning. Uh, I do want to remind everybody that if they want to learn more, go to www.thelandgeek.com, download for free the Passive Income Blueprint. Don't forget that included in that is going to be our ebook. How to Avoid the Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes I See the Average Investor Making Every Single Day. And of course, get this podcast delivered each week to your inbox. And if you're interested in learning more about the Investor's Toolkit, um, we are going to be launching a webinar. It's a long one, 90-minute webinar. And it really discusses every facet of this business in significant detail. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll be emailing you more information. And of course, if you're interested in acquiring wholesale land, look me up at FrontierPropertiesUSA.com. Give Jeff some love at TammyLand.com. Anyways, this is Mark Podols for The Land Geek. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your busy day to learn more about the land business. We'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.